Satters. It's been a while since I've been able to talk to you, and as you can see, there have been changes afoot here at Stock Magician Towers. This is not a redecoration, this is replastered walls, and we are in the process of trying to get everything sorted. We're not going to be staying here forever, we're going to be moving out next year, but there's all sorts of things afoot, <clears throat> and this is what I really wanted to talk to you about today. This is not actually a podcast episode at all, no. It is a very, very special announcement. Now, I've been kind of off-grid for the last few weeks. My sister and I have been setting up a company together. Now, my sister is Sam, and you'll, many of you will know her as uh, Sock My Sister on Instagram and Ravelry. Well, together, Sock Petition and Sock My Sister, we have put together a brand new company, and that company is called Sock My Siblings. And here's the logo. Sock My Siblings has been uh, well, it was conceived for one reason and one reason alone. Many of you will know that I have already got the Sockmetician Edition yarn, which is the Moody Blues Sockmetician Edition yarn here, which comes in eight colourways. Talk about that more in a second. But it's been made in New Zealand, and uh, a lot of people, I think, were a little bit worried about shipping costs and things like that. So Sam and I decided we would put together a distribution company specifically for selling it to the Northern Hemisphere. So um, we will, we, it's up and running. So I've been spending the last, oh, I don't know how many long, long, long days and sometimes working through the night trying to get the website ready. Um, it's all done through PayPal, but Sockmetician.com. So I know the company's Sock My Siblings, but we are Sockmetician.com. That's the, uh, the website that we're selling on. And that's my website. I've been revamping the whole thing. It's not completely finished yet, but the shop is ready to go. So, um, I think that's long, did it? Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> so what I really, really want to do is I want to just give you a little bit of a tour through what we've got available in the shop at Sockmetician.com. Uh, sock so if you go to my website, Sockmetician.com, how many times do I need to say it? Uh, and just go to the Sockma shop. You know there's going to be the brand there. There's always going to be a little Sockma this and Sockma that. Sockma shop is open, and if you head to the yarn page, you'll see that there are options for all the different colours of the Sockmetician edition rainbow there. I don't have them all to hand yet because they're all being shipped over. What I do have is this. Now, I don't want to open it because this... This is the first set that Marie Buskey from skeins.com um, uh, in New Zealand, this is what she gave me, this is my first chance to see it, and I've never taken it out of the bag, and I don't want to, I, I want to stay like that. So if you don't mind, I won't show you the whole thing uh, there and then, but it's the uh, Sock Petition Edition yarn, which is recycled yarn made by skeins.com in New Zealand. Um, it's recycled yarn and possum, and the recycled aspect of that for those of you who don't know, is the fact that when you're making um, yarn in a big mill with a huge, great machinery, you might be putting 100 kilograms of, of, of certain fibre through the machines. Well, not all of it gets taken up. Some of it, and sometimes it's as much as 8 or 9 kilograms, can get left behind. So rather than just waste that, they collect that, and they get more, and they collect that, and they get more, and they collect that, and when they've got enough of the, the right sort of fibres to blend together to make a batch of its own, that's what they do. So uh, just a quick recap for anyone who hasn't seen my previous video on it, the, uh, the yarn is um, Marie, well, the, actually, well, there's two batches and they're all gonna be slightly different because of this recycled aspect of it. So the first batch was um, alpaca, merino, possum and nylon, it had about 5% nylon content in it. This second batch hasn't got any nylon in it at all. So it's much more of a luxury fibre. It's not really suitable for socks, although it is a fingering weight yarn. Um, unless, of course, you've got the kind of lifestyle where you have servants to carry you from the hearth side to the bed and back, and those feet never touch the ground. Um, so the, uh, the new one is um, largely Tasmanian merino. It's very, very fine merino, very, very low micron count. Um, so it should be really, really lovely and soft, I haven't had a squidge yet. Um, and black alpaca to give that lovely grey tone, and the possum as well. So those are the three fibres that are going to batch two, and that, at the moment, is winging its way from New Zealand to England. I have it on good authority that it has made landfall in Manchester. We're just waiting for some customs, uh, paperwork and things like that to get sorted out, and then it's going to be heading up to my sister's house, and we're going to be fulfilling all of your orders. So. We have decided, we want, to, we want to make this really, really cost effective. So it comes in 50 gram balls, but you can see there's quite a lot of it in a ball. It's 178 meters, um, and uh, 178 meters for 50 grams. 
We're going to be selling those for nine. That's a complete lie. We're going to be selling those for six pounds ninety nine. Six pounds ninety nine. Now here's the thing, we're doing it all through PayPal with the PayPal buttons because we didn't have very much time to set up a huge e-commerce website and I'm having to do all the technical side of things and I don't know much about that sort of thing at all. So we've sort of made, had to do some shenanigans with the shipping. Rather, PayPal doesn't have the flexibility with shipping costs that we'd like so we wanted three different um, shipping zones, Europe, well, the UK, then Europe and then the rest of the world. So because we couldn't do that on the shipping, we've had to do some sort of like surcharge on the ball. So although the ball officially is £6.99, um, that's for the UK price. We're adding a 60 pence per ball surcharge for Europe and an 80 pence per ball surcharge for the rest of the world. Now that's not to penalise everybody else, that's because the shipping costs stay the same. We've decided to put the extra shipping uh, fees to us into the ball of the yarn. I hope that makes sense. Um, so if you are, for example, living in Europe, you will pay, actually, I shouldn't say, I should have said, all of the shipping costs, £3.50 across the board. Wherever you're from in the world, £3.50 is what we'll ship. Uh, that's up to 19 balls. So it's, um, it's like a kilogram of yarn. So 19 is pretty much a, a fairly hefty project. I don't think many of you will be ordering quite that many. So anywhere up to 19 balls, £3.50 anywhere in the world, but in the UK the balls will be £6.99. In the uh, rest of Europe they will be £6.99 plus 60p, so that's £7.59 each, and then for the rest of the world they will work out each ball will be £7.79 each. So it's still a really, really good price, we think. So that's that. That's the Sock Magician Edition yarn. It's so lovely and squishy. It's got all these wonderful heathered tones in it because it was done in a monochrome uh, dyeing way. Oh, that didn't work, does it? <laughs> I'm doing this in such a hurry because I want to get all of this into such a short space of time. Not only that, um, so the, you can buy as many balls as you like from that, you can pick and choose, have a look at the website, go to the yarn page. I've spent a lot of time trying to make it look really, really nice, trying to get all the photographs on, trying to get the stories there. It's not quite complete, but functionally it's all working, so do head there now. This, of course, is in time for Christmas, and that's what was really important, that's why we're rushing it all out as soon as we can. I know lots of you will be wanting to buy this yarn. I know lots of you will be wanting to buy it for Christmas presents. It's a bit too bright, isn't it? <laughs> lots of you will be wanting to buy it for Christmas presents, either for yourselves or for knitters and loved ones in your life. And that's fine. So although we don't have the yarn in our possession yet, we are going to be selling the yarn straight away. So if you want to treat those like a pre-order, as soon as the yarn hits us, then we'll be sending those orders out straight away. So you can order now and... Uh, it might be, it's Friday now, it's the 30th of November, so it may be that we don't get it until Tuesday or Wednesday next week, but as soon as that happens, we'll still get them out. And there's plenty of time to do the last shipping for, uh, for Christmas. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of weeks of grace there, so you'll certainly get it for then. So, what else is going on in the shop? There are other things to sell in the shop. I'm so excited about these. I am so delighted to introduce these to you. Now, I've been wanting to do these for such a long time. Uh, I've got some enamel badges made, and look, aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. This is just lovely. So this is based on the logo design that uh, Julie Nelson Rhodes, known to you all as Julie from Tilly Flop, uh, put together for my uh, branding earlier this year. As soon as I saw, as soon as I saw the logo, I thought, that's an enamel pin. That really, really is. Just look at it. It's all, it's four colors of enamel and it's on a brass plated uh, metal. I feel like I'm doing a QVC thing. Um, and they are on the back, they're all brassy and they've got the classic butterfly pin there. They look absolutely great. So uh, they are on sale in the shop for a mere eight pounds. Look, it's gonna look absolutely amazing on uh, lapels like that, or it's gonna look really, really nice on your project bag. That's not all. Look at it, isn't it absolutely lovely? Julie did such a fantastic job. They're shiny, they're glitzy, they look really, really glamorous, and the f colors are fun. But I thought rather than make sure everyone has the same thing, what if somebody wanted to have something a little bit more, maybe sophisticated, a bit classier? <laughs> I've got the square logo done as well. It says Sockmetician on it. 
it's really dark outside and I've got such terrible lighting here, I don't know how I'm going to get this done. So uh, there we are. So there you can see the black Sockmetician Square logo. That's a black enamel on a brass again, same backing as the other ones. And then I've got a white one as well. If you weren't sure of the black or the white, so there you go. Really, really, they're really nice, aren't they? So you can buy them uh, individually. You could also buy the whole set, I guess. There's nothing stopping you. Um, uh, here they are. So here's all three together. So you can choose whichever one you think is the nicest to adorn your project bag or your shawl or whatever it is you're knitting or wearing at the time. I'm so excited. And finally, the other thing that's on sale in the Sokma shop. I haven't had a chance to talk about this on the podcast yet. I will do a proper sort of my own little review or chat through it. But I just wanted to show everybody this is my book, Guy's Knit. It's a beast of a book. It's heavy, it's hardback, um, and it's, look who's that handsome devil on the front there? That's me, that is. Um, it's just got all sorts of amazing things in it. There's loads and loads of great photographs, loads of content. Look, there he is again. There's all sorts of things uh, inside. Um, talking about different photographs of how-tos. There's all the things that you might want to learn. A bit of history about knitting. There's uh, here we go some, some tutorials and we've tried to make sure that the photographs are incredibly clear so you can see exactly what's going on all the way through. Now this of course is a beginner's knitting guide so it may not be uh, for many of you may not be useful for many of you unless you unless you're a book collector and you just want to have some things, but I've tried to put lots and lots of tips and hints and things, things that I found useful about my knitting life, that made my knitting life easier, hoping that this will make a beginner's knitting life easier as well. It's also got, you can see these little blue tabs there and that QR code, it's got uh, 23 different videos that have been specially shot for it that are in there. It's published by Haynes, but here's the thing, if you buy it directly from me, there's a little box on the, uh, just next to the add to cart button, little box there, and you can put in the recipient's name, either your name or if it's a gift for somebody else, and I will sign every copy. I will do a little scribble. If you want to, if you leave it blank, then I, I'll, I'll know not to sign it if you want to have it pristine, but I will do a little scribble on one of the first pages in there, on the white pages, um, with a little personalised message, which I thought might be a little bit of fun. It's an exclusive author deal. So, what you should do is you should go to www.sockmetician.com and then you will be able to buy the Sockmetician yarn, a Sockmetician badge and the Sockmetician book, Guys Knit. Uh, it's all there for you. I couldn't be prouder and uh, I'll leave you with a little, um, a little tour of what the website looks like so you know what to expect when you get there. I'm so excited about this. I could not be more thrilled um, to know that these things are finally out there and they're finally out there in a way where you know where to come. You come to me, you come to sockmetician.com and you can buy those things. I'm gonna leave this here now because there's so much else I want to talk about, so many things to round up. Um, my time in Minneapolis, in uh, uh, New York, for Rhinebeck, all these amazing things that I've been doing recently. But that's not what this is about. I will come back to you next week with another podcast episode where you'll sit back and we'll have a lovely, lovely time. I'm sorry this is a quick ramble, but you know what I'm like now. I just walk very quickly, but I'm very excited. I'm so excited about this. Head to www. How many W's? Just three. www.sockmetician.com. Head to the Sockma shop and you can purchase your very own Sockmetician goodies. Um, I urge you to do it. They're all wonderful, wonderful things. They're going to be perfect for Christmas stocking fillers or just a little treat for yourself. Thank you and goodbye. And here it is. This is what the brand new sockmetician.com website looks like. As you can see here, we've got the address at the top, just www.sockmetician.com. And here it is. There's that lovely green logo from Julie Nelson Rhodes, of course. And if you look at the, uh, the menu, which is across the top here, hover over Sockma Shop and look what you get. You've got the option to go to uh, enamel badges, guys knit the book, or the yarn. So let's start with the badges, shall we?
when that page loads, you can see here we've got the three badges you can purchase. Down here is how you can purchase them themselves. So all the information you need is about one of the badges there, the green sock, the black square logo and the white square logo. And over here you've got the little button to add them to cart. I'm not going to worry about that just now. I'll show you a bit more about how that works with the uh, yarn. Back up to the shop then and you've got Guy's Knit the Book. Here it is. This is the book itself. Guys, this of course over there. Uh, so if you want your own signed copy of my new book, just buy it from the link below. Oh look, there's a little typo there. I'll fix that. And uh, just there. Buy it from the link below. And fill in the field with the recipient's name and I'll sign it for you before I send it off in the post. Um, so here's how you can do it. There you go. There's the recipient name for shipping just there. So if you just wanted to type your name in here, Nathan Taylor, then I would know to sign that to Nathan Taylor. The book costs £22 from me here. £22? It says £22.95 on the back of the book, but I thought I can't be bothered with all that. I want to give you a little discount there. So it's £22 from me plus P&P. &P. Now it is 850 grams heavy so it is going to so the shipping costs are a little bit more than I would like um, in the UK it's three pounds fifty in the Europe I'm afraid it goes up to nine pounds and for the rest of the world it's 14 pounds to ship it um, but if you do want to get that signed copy that's the I'm the only place you can do that and again you can just add that to the cart there um, further down the page of course we've got um, a visit to the guys knit the musical and then some information about it that's what the page looks like so let's talk about the yarn shall we? Here we go. Yarn, Moody Hughes, the Sock Petition Edition, made in conjunction, of course, with Skeins.com and Marie Buskey of, uh, of Knit August Night's fame over there. As you can see here, I don't know what that is. I call that picture Sock Mill Liberty. Um, <laughs> 6.99 per ball plus shipping. So here we have the balls. We've got them here. We've got Montagne, the red one. Chapel is the orange. Garland, the yellow. Featherstone is green. Bruton, the blue. Baker, the purple. Milk, the light grey. And Delavery, the dark grey. So it, if you don't want to choose just one of them, we've got a special offer for you here. Can you see this? Only £59.42. That's going to be a box set of all eight balls of yarn shipped to anywhere in the world. It's actually 50, uh, £55.92 for the balls themselves, plus £3.50 anywhere in the world. So we're going to send those out to you and you get the free box as well to go with them. Don't have photographs of the box yet, that's on its way to us, but as I say we wanted to get these orders out straight away. So let's talk about, well let's go and have a look at Featherston shall we? Here she is. This is Lynn Featherston, of course, my uh, the Liberal MP, Lib Dem MP, who was responsible for the same-sex marriage bill going through to Parliament. And here, this is where we're talking about the um, the three pounds fifty flat rate, but it's sixty p per ball surcharge for Europe. 80p per ball for the rest of the world. I'm sorry about that, it's just the way these things have to happen. And we've done the maths and it does work out to you just about up and down a few pennies. Some orders will lose a few pennies, some orders will make a few pennies, but it was the best way to keep it standard as much as we possibly could. So let's actually go and add something to our cart. Let's go over here. Let's pretend that I'm living in Germany, so it's going to be 6 99 plus 60 pence there. Uh, add that to the cart. This is going to open up a PayPal screen and it's going to take you to the PayPal cart here. We've got one ball of Featherstone at 7.59. That's the price with the 60 pence uh, per ball added in already. And over here you can see the shipping is £3.50. So that'd be £11.09 to ship one ball to Germany. If I wanted another one, i just click on there. That adjusts the price of the balls, but it keeps the price of the shipping exactly the same, and that's what we wanted to do. Want to buy some more balls? That's no problem at all. You can go up to here to this slightly insignificant little button there called Continue Shopping. Closes the cart down and takes you back to the page you've just come from. So, if you want to go and select another one, you can select, let's go for the Bruton, the nice blue here. And again, it's really important, we're in Germany apparently so we have to select our region before we add to cart otherwise the balls will be priced incorrectly and we won't be able to process the order without getting in touch with you first of all back to the cart you can see here's our two balls of Featherstone from before and let's say we want three balls of Bruton to complete the order there we go so we've got five balls in the order that's going to be £37.95 for the five balls really not bad price at all and then you've got uh, the £3.50 shipping coming to a total of £41.45 and then you can go on to the PayPal checkout which is coming up on screen now 
PayPal screen on, on screen now and you can just log in there and you can carry on and purchase. If you don't have a PayPal account, you can also go down here and pay with a debit or credit card. So I close that back down and take you back to the site. That's basically how it works. There is one caveat to this. Because all of the yarns, um, so all of the yarns on this page, uh, including the box set, these are all being done through Sokma Siblings, which is obviously my company with my sister. So they have to be bought separately. If you're going to be buying any type of yarn or any colour and any number you want, then you can do that all in one cart with one shipping cost. Unfortunately, because if you want to buy any of the enamel pins or the guy's knit book, that's money that's coming directly to me and that's not being handled by Sotman siblings. Um, so that'll have to be done separately. So if you just remember, books and badges in one cart, yarn in another, and you'll be absolutely golden. There we are, a quick tour of Sotmetician.com.